Have you guys been to a concert sober yet? My second rock concert. I think my sixth sober concert. The monsters are living under your bed. They are the voices. And it was probably, honestly, the best concert ever. Have you guys been to a concert sober yet? If so, I would love to hear your feedback. I love remembering the concerts. I love being fully engaged, uh, driving home, not being hungover. I mean, so many things. One thing that I realized at concerts is they really need to, I mean, I know that they're there to make money and selling alcohol is where you make money, but I feel like they need to make it a little more non-alcohol friendly. But what I did is I got a smoothie and I got some kettle corn and I enjoyed the best concert ever. Like hands down, so amazing. It's one of those things where I can actually remember it and not wake up the next morning and regret going because I just drink it all away. However, the lead singer is 16 years, 16 years sober and he announced that he wasn't drinking and he doesn't drink, blah, blah, blah. Well, the crowd freaking booed him. They booed him, which is so ridiculous. I, for being in a big rock band, I feel like being sober has to be so freaking empowering. Hands down, you're the lead singer of a major band and here you are sober. What more can you ask for? He's strong, that's all I have to say. How did he get strong? I'm not sure. 16 years of sobriety, I'm sure he's definitely learned some tools along the way. And maybe we should take some of these tips. I think going to jail was one of his uh, let's not drink again and all the allegations towards him. I could be wrong, I don't know. Um, but it just goes to show that sober people actually burden the drunk people because I was talking to somebody about this and we burden them because they have to look at themselves and realize that, oh, maybe I have a drinking problem or do I have a drinking problem? They have to question whether or not they're actually, I don't wanna say the word drinking correctly or drinking too much, but really if you have to question yourself and put down somebody else for being sober because you can't handle them being sober, I think you have the problem. Maybe some of us like relied on alcohol so much that it was a problem for us. Maybe we're just normal people and want to live a more normal, sober life and don't want to rely on a crutch, masking things. I'm sorry, not sorry, if I burden you with my sobriety. Pretty much is what it has come down to. I don't, I have taken the negative energy from so many things all around me, people, events, and just really dove into those, that negative energy and made it a positive experience for me. I've stayed sober because I love the thought of burdening people with my sobriety. It's very empowering. So I can imagine what the lead singer, Ronnie, the falling in reverse feels like, like F you too, I don't need to drink. I'm here for a good time without the alcohol and I'm not the one that's gonna feel like crap the next day. I think that has something to say for itself. Whether his other bandmates drink, I don't know whether they do drugs, I don't know. All I know is going to a concert, sober, they're getting so much better. Remembering the clarity, the, just the vibe of the whole entire thing really makes me want to like go to more concerts. Before I would have to spend so much money on concerts. One like line in the, like one bar line was at least 30 bucks. And now like I would end the night with probably at least a couple hundred dollars of drinking alcohol and now I was able to buy a t-shirt, a smoothie, and some popcorn and some water, all less 
than like two trips to the bar. I mean, we all know that beer is overpriced at these events, but not only do I save some money, I leave fulfilled and I didn't need alcohol to fulfill me. Now thinking back to all the concerts, yeah, I don't want to live in the past from what I was doing in concerts. All I know is it's embarrassing to think of how ridiculous I got. I saw this guy walking out of the concert. He couldn't even stand. And I looked at Jonathan and I said, oh my gosh, that was probably me and or us a couple of times. How embarrassing. I don't want to be that person anymore. I want to live my life. I don't want to burden myself with alcohol anymore. I like the fact that my sobriety intimidates people because I want to be healthier. I want to do better for myself. And just like Ronnie wants to do better for himself. And probably since he quit drinking, I'm assuming his band got even better. But you know what? Everybody has a past. We can't change it. All we can do is learn from it. Those mistakes that we've made through alcohol and taking those mistakes, turning it into that negative energy and saying that I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this person. I don't want to waste any more time. I'm sick of how I feel. I don't need to spend the money on it. I'm wasting so much money. I'm losing so much time with my family and my friends, my kids, my grandkids. I mean, all of it. It's sad how much alcohol takes away from us. They've taken away amazing concerts from me. They've <laughs> taken away time from my kids, time from my family, time for myself. So being a burden to myself while drinking alcohol is a no more. I'm here for a good time and it's all going to be sober. Making people <laughs> take a look at themselves in the mirror is, it's kind of a funny thing. Everybody has to justify why they're drinking. Like, boo, you don't drink, you're no fun. Well, have you thought about how fun you are? Probably your opinions, your actions, your personality, like the way you just annoy people when you're drinking, like what you say to people. Are you hostile? Are you, some people are like, oh, people like me when I'm drunk. Well, do they really? <laughs> or would they actually like you more if you're sober? Think about that. It's taken me a long time to realize that I am the same person sober as I was drunk. I just am a more tactful way, but the more days and months that I am sober, the more I f am finding who I am and it's okay to voice my opinion and have an opinion and not have to mask it with alcohol anymore. That is one of the biggest things is I was burdening myself all these years of just putting on a mask, faking who I was. I was the cool person because I drank and, but really, no, I'm the same person. I can go out and have fun. I'm just not super obnoxious anymore. No, I wasn't that like giddy giddy girl. I just like to shove alcohol in people's faces. That's all. I enjoyed all these events sober. And I have no, like not one thought has crossed my mind of, oh, this would have been fun, more fun drunk, not one time. Yes, like, did I look at Jonathan a couple of times during one of the concerts and be like, oh, I wish I had a girlfriend with me so I could like dance and stuff. But you know what? It's, I used to only go with my girlfriends and it was always a drunk fest. We all just drank. It was all of us, not just one of us. And we all, partaked in spending hundreds of dollars in a night on alcohol and now I choose to go with my husband because I know he's not going to drink. I don't need to DD for anyone and I can enjoy it without getting annoyed with people and or myself and it's just I guess that's the biggest thing that's changed for going to events is I don't care. It just literally used to revolve around my friends and now I've thought about taking my kids I take my husband with me now. Yes, he went with me to concerts. I mean, that wasn't a thing. Usually they were just for the girls. The girls liked the concerts. They liked to enjoy themselves and not have to worry about our husbands getting mad at us for drinking. Because let's be honest, how many of you get annoyed with your spouse when they drink too much? 
I mean, we've all been annoyed with our spouse for drinking too much. But guess what? I'm not a burden to him. I'm not a burden to myself. I'm not a burden to anybody else. I am a burden to those that don't want to put the alcohol down. Pretty much that is it. They don't want to come around as much because we've chosen not to drink. We don't supply it anymore. We don't like have the parties anymore, which is totally fine. Um, those that want to be around us and enjoy our company sober and still include us in everything, that is what has made this experience absolutely amazing. We've met so many amazing people. We have stayed friends with some. We still hang out with some. But, you know, like, the burden of wanting to be healthier really gets to some people. I feel like a burden because I want to be healthier, which I'm done. Like, I don't care anymore. Me always being healthier than a lot of people and like choosing the healthier options like working out and eating healthier and now I'm not drinking, it all goes hand in hand. People can't face the fact that they have to let go of sugar, fast food, alcohol. They need to move their body to work out. So until they like can grasp that themselves, nobody's gonna know how good it feels to be on the other side of eating like shit, not working out, and drinking your life away. So just remember that every step towards a healthier lifestyle is key to you doing what you need to do for yourself and stop being a burden to you.